Before we get to any updates, I want to check in and ask, how are you guys doing? How are you holding up as hobbyists, as friends? Certainly so much has changed just just here in New York in the past two weeks. And I don't even know where to begin or what to say other than it certainly feels like we're in a dream world, but a lot of things are changing and a lot of things are going to change. And some of the updates I wanted to push to my channel, a couple of new ideas, some things to explore, get some feedback. Uh, these are crazy, crazy times. And I've got friends in the service industry, in the health industry, in law enforcement, literally on the front lines. And I imagine many of you listening to my podcasts and my vlogs, this, this wargaming journey that we're sharing are likewise in a similar situation. And I think the best thing I can do, because right now with my channel, there's the appearance that everything's just carrying on as normal. It's just hobby as normal. And that, I was thinking about it, that that's my goal. That's the best I can do right now. And that doesn't play down the situation or, or not take into account the literally historic generational changing aspects that are going on. But being part of your gaming life, hopefully being part of this 40K D&D &D role playing board games, Wings of Glory, Battletech Chain of Command, whatever it's going to be, maybe just to have a little what passes for normal or, or maybe just having a place where we could just kind of hang out and kind of put all the craziness aside for a moment, recharge, because I think more than ever, I know more than ever, just speaking for myself, mental health guarding your mental health, taking care of your mental health as best you can, not only to keep yourself safe, but just to keep your friends and family safe and the responsibilities that you have. That's the goal. So if I can help you tune in, tune out for 10 minutes or so, or we can laugh and have some fun, that's um, if I can help contribute to that. That's, that's my goal. So channel wise, right now, I'm still planning to push out every day a vcast, a podcast, a rant, just kind of exploring, sharing what I'm working on, sharing on some different ideas, um, doing some role-playing stuff, talking board games, definitely going to get into, definitely getting into Alien RPG and exploring that because I'm spending a lot of time writing some ideas and there's a lot of unique opportunities there. And of course, checking out Battletech. I'm also intending and planning to do something live, to do some live stuff. I guess this YouTube live thing that a lot of people have been saying like, Fritz, just we should be pushing that out. You should be doing that. Um, I think now's the time to explore that. I know I have a little bit more, I won't say downtime, but my work schedule has shifted because I, I'm fortunate 100%. Well, maybe 90%. I do have to go in one day a week. Um, it is remote. So I'm going to be sitting here in the home office doing my job, taking care of those responsibilities. But that that checklist of things that I have to do every day, uh, they just have to be completed within 24 hours. So what that means is they don't have to necessarily be nine to five. So I, I have a little bit of flexibility in, in my schedule all of a sudden. And I thought, well, this would be a great chance to continue to connect. So let's start pushing out the YouTube live and we'll just do it informal be a great way to take some questions to talk so what i'm thinking about right now and in the comments we're going to open everything up for suggestions implementation ideas i'd like to get into a routine of something like you know monday nights just open q a kind of like we're sitting down um, i'll be working on some miniatures painting some stuff and we'll just hang out, we'll talk systems, we'll talk tactics. Uh, I won't say we'll talk paint because I'm an okay painter, I'm an adequate painter, but I, I think that's a great chance to just maybe build some stuff, hang out, take questions, talk, um, do whatever. Uh, then what I was thinking was Wednesday nights or maybe Friday nights, I mean, this could switch around, Wednesday nights uh, doing some sort of play, doing some sort of communal game, solo game where we could get together, play it and make those decisions along the way, make those tactical decisions. Because I, I know for many of us, I'm sure for many of us, that that physical connection to the gaming group, to your gaming club, to the hobby, 
uh, that's been been cut off. For for me here in New York, everything is shut down. Everything is shut down. So no going to the gaming club. Um, no going out unless it's essential. Uh, the dojo is closed. No going to do that. Um, my lodge is closed. No going to do that. So it's like, how am I going to get that gaming on? I thought this would be a great um, way because I'm already trying to do this with a couple of friends where we're going to play over Skype or we're going to play over FaceTime. And I thought this would be, hey, we could set that up with live, set up a board game and just play it and make some tactical decisions. I don't know, maybe even play some battle tech and, and push that out there. So I thought that would be great uh, one day a week, kind of get this, this scheduling one day a week, pushing that out, doing that. And then I thought, well, okay, we, we, we could be at this um, for a while. You know, there's a lot of adjustments. We, we got to just stay put, stay tight and, and not make the situation worse. So what about if I'm going to be home on Friday nights now, I'm going to be home Saturday nights, I'm going to be home Sunday nights. I mean, that's, that's good. What if we did a D&D campaign? What if I, this, could this be an opportunity to start and do a, a YouTube live D&D campaign uh, with links uh, from the previous session, maybe posted on my blog. So if you're new coming in in a week or a couple of months from now, if we're still playing, you can kind of read up, but, but it's essentially just a free form D and D game. I could run as a DM. I thought that would be kind of interesting to do the perfect time for it with maybe a foray here and there, test out some alien RPG stuff, get some cinematic play, but that's, that's the schedule. I'm just sitting here literally like on the back of an envelope and looking and saying, you know, do a little Q and a, let's just hang out. Let's talk shop. Let's talk tactics one day a week. Let's play something, you know, crack out zombie side invader and, and just play some invader together. We'll do that and then get some sort of RPG together just to get that, that social interaction and, um, to try and keep that mental health, to try and keep that bit of sanity as, as things change so fast. And I find for me, the, what's been the most interesting, and I say interesting as in a very kind of surreal way, every day there's been more information coming out just, just here in New York, just in kind of my local area, which in many ways, uh, if you've been following the news, Nourishell is only a mile from where I live. I mean, we're not, I could walk there. I mean, I, I have a couple of times a week driven past that area that's been, been quarantined. It, it could be one of the ways that I get to work. So that literally being ground zero for this experience, what I found, what I'm finding very interesting is that every day things are changing here so fast and seem so unreal stuff that I never would have imagined. And it's like, okay, just as soon as, you know, something happens during the day, my mind is finally able to digest it and realize it and be like, okay, this, this is a change, but we're going to make a plan. We're going to deal with it. It's going to be good. Literally something happens the next day that is even more surprising than the day before. And it's like every day there's new things happening. And, and I'm sure that's the same in your community. I'm sure that's the same across America. It, it's across the world, but more than ever channel update. I'm going to double down. We're going to dig our heels in. We're going to get more hobby in. We're going to get more content in. We're going to develop that community because right now, number one, whatever your method is, whatever you got to do for that mental health to keep focused, to keep on track, I, I think that's, that's vital. 